Hello! Welcome back to Simple Korean. <laughs> My name is Justin. How are you doing this summer? So today we are going to learn how to say sorry in Korean. There is no one way to say sorry in Korean, unfortunately, because it depends on the situation. So in this video, I'm going to give you three different situations in order to say sorry, that will help you understand how to use it better. The first situation, and imagine you are having lunch with your friend or girlfriend and you accidentally spilled kimchi on them. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> so, in this kind of situation, you would say, Miane. <laughs> so, say it with me. Miane, Miane. <laughs> Sounds like pop pop, <laughs> but yeah, it's true. Miane, you spill kimchi all over their shirt, and like, what the fuck? And then you'd be like, Miane. Okay, so people that are close to you, very casual, you say Miane, 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 like a cat. Miane. Sometimes girls, they go overboard, they go really cute, and they say Mian, like a cat. Mian, Mian is just too cute for me. So just say Miane, Miane. Don't say Miane. So I say Miane. Miane, just like that. Nah, nah. So if you want to make it more polite, just say Miane yo, 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 yo. Okay, just add the yo and it becomes a little bit more polite, but not so much. But yeah, you get it, right? It's, it's a casual word, just saying sorry. Miane, Miane yo. So the second situation, imagine that you're out in a public environment and you don't know anyone and you need to apologize for something that you did. Usually, if you don't know the person, if they're a stranger, you're going to say Mian ham ni da. Okay, that's that's more polite because you know you're not acquainted like a friend or a girlfriend. Okay, so you say mian ham ni da, mian ham ni da, mian ham ni da. This actually happened to me a lot in Korea. Um, I'll give you one example. I was out in a department store shopping, and this this lady she was pushing her stroller, and she accidentally bumped into my leg. I like ran over my foot basically. <laughs> and what did she say to me? She said. The words Mianamnida, Mianamnida, Mianamnida. That's that's more polite than Mianeo or Mian Miane. Now the third and final situation is something where you made a really big mess up, and you are apologizing to someone who is more superior than you. <laughs> okay, so these people will be maybe your boss, your teacher, a customer in your store. Okay, these situations. Miane, Mianamnida does not work, okay? You need to go bump it up even higher. The highest form of saying I'm sorry in Korean is Che Songamida, okay? Che, Che, like Che Guerva. Che Song, Song, Che Song Hamnida, Che Songamida, Che Song. Again, if you apologize to your boss for screwing up, you say Che Songamida, Che Songamida, Che Songamida, right? Really sorry, or you, you cheated on your exam. You say to your professor, <laughs> I won't cheat again. Nah. I know it's hard for you native speaker, English speakers to say this. So think of Che Guerba, okay? Che, Che, Che. It's, it's kind of a mixture of Che and Che. If you can't say it, just say Che. Che Song. Che Song. Okay? Don't say Chue Song Hamnida, okay? It does not work. Okay? Make it muddy, make your lips uh, numb, like filled with Novocaine, okay? Novocaine mouth. <laughs> then again, when you say this, you notice that they, they bow even deeper, okay? Because they're acknowledging their fault, and this is a sign of respect. So, uh, when you say Chue Song Hamnida, make sure you bow really low, okay? Don't just say Chue Song Hamnida <laughs> like this. It doesn't work, my friend, okay? Chue Song Hamnida. You should see there their forehead or their the top of their head when someone says this to you, okay? They really screwed up. So in recap, in order to say I'm sorry in Korean, there's three situations, okay? The first is casual, okay? So you say Miane, Miane Miane, nah, nah. Second situation is with someone you don't know, like like a person in public. So you say Mianamnida, Mianamnida. And then the third situation is when you need to apologize for something big and to someone highly esteemed, okay? And that situation you say Chesomida, Chesomida, 
죄송합니다. So practice this at home, and if you have any questions, uh, please let me know down below, and let me know what's the next word you would like to learn here in Super Korean. Also, you can help support me and this channel by visiting my Patreon page. Uh, the link is right here for you to visit. Your support would be much appreciated if you can just pledge a dollar or more, or buy me coffee, and that will allow me to make more videos more consistently if you really enjoy this kind of content you're receiving for free. Yeah, help me out, and I will see you next time. Take care. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like pop pop. <laughs>